All right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, all honor, and all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessing and many salutations unto you, elect, across the four winds of this earth, fulfilling your lots in all truth and all sincerity. I am the brother Sha'ar from the Great Millstone Dallas branch, coming to you all with another lesson through the Spirit. The Lord's will, this lesson here will be edifying unto the flock. And this here is going to be um, going into news and prophecy, namely just these events taking place between Russia and Ukraine. All right. And there's more things that have to pop off in order for World War Three to take place. All right. But the Heavenly Father has put his spirit upon the face of this earth. Or I'd rather say it like this is turn the spirit up on the face of this earth where a lot of these events are happening more frequently and the events that I'm going into are prophet prophetic events that have been foretold to us um, by the Holy Spirit that is contained within these scriptures all right now there was um, an article that a beloved brother has sent to me earlier as I was talking to him and we was talking about a few things back and forth and this here is pertaining to a uh, MasterCard and Visa card Visa cards and how MasterCard and Visa cards are actually suspending their operations in Russia all right now when you go into the MasterCards and the Visa cards which all of us should have knowledge what that is all right if you deal with money or make money as such all right but um those were actually originated within America the company MasterCard and Visa or the company yeah company MasterCard and Visa originated in America all right so you see that America ultimately these American companies are suspending their operations over there in Russia all right, and I actually seen an article, I believe it was last week, even going into Greg Abbott, who was the governor of Texas, and he encouraged employers and such that sold product to remove those products that were um, originated or made in Russia to remove those products from the shelf. So when I see these things or when we see these things, I'd rather say, all right, this is the spirit of the Heavenly Father putting the hooks in the jaws of Gog and Magog. As you read it in the book of Ezekiel, the 38th chapter. And I'm going to pull that scripture up here very quick. But I'm going to read a little bit of this article. And the Lord's will and the Spirit has me remember to post it in the uh, description box. That way you all can see it for yourselves. But it says, and it's titled, MasterCard and Visa Suspend Operations in Russia. MasterCard and Visa said they would suspend operations in Russia. Essentially severing cardholders. They're from transactions outside the country in response to the invasion of Ukraine. The suspensions announced on Saturday, mind you, this article came out on the 5th. Today is the 7th now. All right, this is Monday the 7th, and this article came out on the 5th, Saturday. So it says the suspensions announced on Saturday evening will prevent MasterCards and Visa card issues um, issued by Russian banks from working in other countries and block people with cards issued elsewhere from purchasing goods and services from the companies in Russia so they're suspending it and they're doing it slowly but surely they're they're, they're slowing down the uh, progression within those companies over there in Russia and it's gonna it's gonna go into it it says but other transactions may still go through cards branded with the MasterCard or Visa logo that were issued by Russian banks may still work inside the country because the transactions are handled by local um, processors Officials at both companies said in a statement, MasterCard, which has operated in Russia for more than 25 years, said it had not made the decision lightly. As we take this step, we join with so many others in hoping for and committing to a more positive, productive and peaceful future for all of us, the company said. Visa said it planned to cease all visa transactions within Russia in the coming days. So expect all right, I'm not saying it's guaranteed to take place, but expect to hear this news here within the very near future. All right, going into Visa card, literally suspending all transactions in Russia. All right, and expect other other things to follow. Remember, we have to remember what the prophecy said. All right, we have to remember that Gog was going to come against the land with unwalled villages. That was prophesied within the scriptures. So Gog was going to be pressured by the land of unwalled villages was going to be poked 
and messed with by Babylon. All right. And doing that, that's going to cause them to fight. All right. Cause them to shoot those missiles. And I'm interested really to see what's going to cause the beast to come against the horde. Because that's going to be a major move that's going to take place in order for all these allied nations of America to turn their backs on them and shoot missiles alongside with Gog and Magog. Okay. Now, when you continue to read it, it says Visa said it planned to cease all Visa transactions within Russia in the coming days. A spokesman for the company said those transactions should be cut off within a week. All right. So by next Friday, next Saturday, OK, expect some news to come out about this. It says Al Kelly, chairman and chief executive officer of Visa Incorporated, said in a statement, this war and the ongoing threat to peace and stability demand we respond in line within our values. OK, so when you look at this, these American companies are right, cutting off these transactions, getting rid of Russian product on their shelves. They're pretty much separating completely from Russia. All right. And again, these are moves prophetically that are taking place that are going to poke at World War Three. Now, there's more things that got to happen in order for World War Three to come into effect. The example, the Karagma has to get pushed. All right. There's a few more prophecies that have to take place. But expect a lot of these events to start taking place at the same time. Expect a lot more people talking about the Karagma, the MOTB. All right. Expect a lot more people to talk about this on the same time, expecting them to go in with, um, you know, with war. All right. Between Russia, Ukraine and all these other nations, friction, expect friction to happen within uh, the NATO and the EU. All right. Expect America to make certain decisions and certain moves. All right. That are going to rub these guys the wrong way. These are things that we expect because these are prophecies that are going to surely come to pass. And as they surely come to pass, they are going to shortly, but surely come to pass. All right. Now I'm going to read this in the book of Ezekiel, the 38th chapter. And this is an oldie but goodie. And this is a scripture that gets brought out very often, especially when it's information and news about Russia. But there's a point that I'm going to go into it. All right. I'm not going to read the whole chapter, but I'm going to go straight to the point. Ezekiel 38 and 1. And the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and prophesy against him. And this is what we were commanded to do. Now, when you go into Gog and Magog, that goes into Russia. All right. And we were commanded to even prophesy against Russia because those are Edomites, too, at the end of the day. It ain't like Russia, you know, is is, is on the good side of the Heavenly Father. The Lord is just using Russia to fulfill major prophecies within these last days but we're still commanded to speak against it as we do okay when you continue in verse 3 it says and say thus saith the lord yahweh behold i am against the ogog the chief prince of meshach and tubal and this is the point that i want in verse 4 right here i will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws and i will bring thee forth and all thine army horses and horsemen all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. So the Lord is going to put the spirit on Gog and Magog. And this is what also what he means by putting hooks into his jaws. All right. He's reviving that old Soviet spirit. All right. That they had. All right. Remember, NATO was actually created. NATO was actually created um, due to Russia. All right. In response to combat and fight against Russia, all right, the Soviet Union. So the Lord is turning that spirit back up. I did a lesson a few weeks ago going into the doomsday clock and how they move the minute hand on the doomsday clock closer to 12. And they do that based on nuclear war. All right. So the closer the, the, the minute hand gets to 12 is the closer that they believe that we are um, that we are in, into a, a nuclear holocaust. All right. And I did a lesson going into that. In the meantime, while they're moving his hand closer and closer, you got the spirit or the spirit of the heavenly father, I'd rather say, is put on Russia to go harder. All right. To boast on their weaponry, boast on their military. All right. And this is the time that we're in right now. All right. So these little skirmishes that's taking place, these little like events, the example as I read in this article, 
going into how Visa and MasterCard are talking about eliminating all transactions within Russia. All right. And I'm not saying Russia necessarily needs that, but this is the spirit of the Lord being put on these people to operate as such. All right. These people ain't coming out of their own will and say we ain't going to make deals with Russia no more. This is the Heavenly Father's work. This is his plan. All right. And these are devices, I'd rather say, or these are ideas that are being brought forth to stir up the mind of Gog and Magog or put the hooks into his jaws. All right. This is bait to a degree. This is all bait. And it's going to come to the point where Russia's going to come forth. All right. And send those missiles. In the midst of all this going on, these other nations that were allied with Babylon are going to turn against the whore as well. Now, we don't know exactly tit for tat, all right, what's going to take place, but we know what's going to happen. And it's got to be a very major event that's going to happen if we know and believe it's going to happen soon. All right. And I can end it off here in the book of Isaiah, the 34th chapter. I'm sorry, not 34, Isaiah chapter 13. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 13, verse 17. And it reads, Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them. And the them it's talking about is Babylon. And the Medes, when you go into this scripture, is going into Russia. All right. Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them, which shall not regard silver. And as for gold, they shall not delight in it. Their bowls shall, Salakim, their bowls also shall dash the young men to pieces. And they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Their eyes shall not spare children. Now, I read earlier in Ezekiel, the 38th chapter, going into how they're going to have the, the, the horsemen and also the men carrying swords. Now, they're going to send missiles and nukes over here, the ultimate weaponry. All right. And that's going to that's what's going to be used. All right. To dash the young men in pieces and not to spare the, the, the woman with the baby in the womb. I mean, you read about it in Ezekiel, the ninth chapter, the fourth verse. All right, it goes into how the Lord will send a death angel out and it won't spare, neither have pity. And it goes into the old, the young, the, 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 the bondman, the rich, the servant, the maid, the widow, the children, all of that. All right, the Lord is not a respecter of persons. And if you have not been converted in this knowledge and have not been walking in the spirit, you will be taken in this. And that's just the reality of it. All right. We are in a time of war right now. All right. And blessed be your eyes and your ears to be able to receive this. Because things are happening. The average person is still walking around like nothing's happening. Just marveling at the high gas prices and marveling at these events that's taking place. Making memes and jokes about it on social media, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram and such. All right. And yeah, certain stuff be funny. But, you know, the deeper fact of the matter is these people are laughing at their coming calamity that's getting ready to come. All right? It's going to get very ugly out here. It's going to get tough. Things are going to tighten up. But in the midst of that, the Lord is going to take us out of our comfort zone. All right? That way that we will call on him more with more urgency. Okay? But I'm going to end it off on there. I believe I touched up on the point. I didn't intend on making this lesson long at all. I just wanted to put that on wax going into that article that the brother had sent me. All right, and there's going to be little things constantly happening like that that's going to cause Babylon to separate. All right, it's going to cause Babylon to be looked at even more, all right, by these other nations that are around it and expect it, you know. So, hey, Lord's willingness is edifying. Oh, hello, Yahweh. Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, great millstone. Peace and blessing and many salutations unto your elect across the four winds of this earth, fulfilling your lots in all truth and all sincerity. Shall I want?